guys, so before we get into today's video, I want to show you this really awesome app that is perfect for cosplayers called Cosplay Amino. Now you may or may not have heard about this app in the past, but trust me when I say that it is an app suitable for every cosplayer and their needs. Probably my favorite thing about this app is how customizable it lets you have your posts. It's not just sharing a little square photo and putting a few hashtags. You can make as detailed of a post as you want and show off your costume in the best way so that as many people as possible see exactly what it is that you worked so hard on. In addition to that, it is rich with community and it has so many awesome people. Already, as I'm making this video, in the live view counter down here, there are 202 members from around the world online. By clicking on that, it lets me see exactly where these people are and it even kind of highlights other posts and other things that I may be interested in looking at that I may not have previously seen. To top it off, it has awesome community interaction by offering things like quizzes, public chat rooms, voice chats, the latest feed, polls, allowing you to follow people that you like, save tutorials, save posts. It is just very, very endless, and if I went over everything this app had to offer, this video would probably be like 20 minutes. So really, all I can do is recommend that you guys install it, explore it, and let me know if you love it as much as I do down in the comments of this video. And if you do love Cosplay Amino, do feel free to check out all of the other Aminos. Literally anything you may like, any hobby, K-pop, comics, video games, makeup, Disney, it doesn't matter what it is, I can assure you there is an Amino for that. So again, download this app, play around with it, customize it however you want, add my profile if you'd like, and let me know in the comments what you think about it. Now that I've shown you guys a little bit of what this awesome Cosplay Amino app has to offer, let's get into the video. Hey everyone, so back in 2016 I showed you how I like to make my cosplay breakdowns. So people like to do their cosplay breakdowns a lot of different ways. Some people use an app on their phone, some people like to just write everything down in a spiral notebook, and there really is no right or wrong way to do it. And while I currently use a small spiral notebook to keep all my cosplay planning and ideas and thoughts down in as I'm currently working on a project, I do use my breakdown method from the older video in a different way. And the way I like to use them now Nowadays is in my cosplay reference book, which is actually just a binder. So the way this works is I create my older breakdowns and I store them in this binder along with fabric swatches and all kinds of information of all my previously completed costumes. Now doing this is completely optional. You don't have to do anything like this. It's just something I like to do. It helps me feel more organized about past projects. It helps me look back on things that I completed in the past, materials that I may have used, and it just puts all of that information in one organized location. Because honestly, even if real life gets a little hectic and crazy and messy, at least my cosplay history is organized, right? So enough talking about the binder and waving it around, let's look at what's actually inside. So I have organized these costumes by the year that I made them. I didn't actually write the years that they were completed on the pages, but that's definitely something you can do. So the first thing you see for every costume is the actual breakdown page. This features a photo of the character in the outfit that I'm cosplaying, the character's name, the wig I use, the contacts I use, all the different costume pieces, all the main different supplies I need, and then any extra information that I need is written down at the bottom. And then in line right after that are my fabric swatches page. So getting the information for your fabric is actually super easy. Just take pictures of the end of the bolt when you're buying your fabric. That's going to give you the name of the fabric, the type of the fabric, how much it costs, and of course the SKU number. All of this information is important if you ever want to go back and order the same thing and they just don't have it in stores anymore. Maybe you need that information for online. As you can kind of tell, some of these costumes are old so I don't actually have all the information for them and they don't exist online anymore, so if I ever did need to order more of this, I'm kinda SOL because all I know is that I bought it at Joann's. So the pages for the fabric swatches is exactly like the breakdown when it comes to the design. Each page has four little spaces for me to put different fabric swatches and all the different information that I like to include, but I do want to stress that when you are storing fabric swatches, make sure you cut them out with pinking shears. That is why the edges have these little diagonal lines. If you don't, there is a very high chance that some of your fabrics are going to fray like crazy while you have them stored away. It's kind of like your headphones that get tangled up when you put them in your pocket. You're not sure how the fabric's fraying because you're not messing with it, but it just, it finds a way. 
The last thing I like to do before I put the pages into the binder is I like to put them in these plastic sleeves. You can hole punch them on their own and put them in, but I think the plastic sleeves just keep them more protected. It keeps your fabric swatches more protected and you can always pull them out if you need to touch or feel the fabric, anything like that. But putting them in sleeves is probably the best way to go in my opinion. And it is really that simple guys. There is no right or wrong way to do your reference book. I just wanted to make this video to show you guys how I like to do it. So that way you can maybe get inspired to make your own and just do it in whatever way suits you best. And feel free to play around with your own reference book. You can add as much or as little information as you want. You can add pages with work in progress photos, pages with your photo shoot photos to show the final costumes. All of those details would make it even more customized to you and just even better. To be honest, I'm probably going to add a lot more to my own. As you can tell, I obviously don't have all the costumes I've ever done in here, and I don't have all of the pictures and information of the costumes I have done in here. I, truth be told, only put this together a couple of weeks ago, um, which is why I'm missing a lot of fabric information and things like that, but I thought it was a really cool idea. It's something I've wanted to do for a really long time, but I just never actually sat down and did it. But really one of the great benefits of having a reference book or something to look back on your costumes is it shows you what you've accomplished and not only that, keeping the fabric swatches help you of course reorder fabric for the same costumes but if you ever have used a fabric before and want to use it for another costume or just want to see and touch and get a general idea, having small swatches of everything you've worked with, everything you're familiar with right at your fingertips just really makes things a lot easier. But I hope this video helped inspire some of you guys to maybe make some of your own reference books or just throw together some fun swatches and different creative ways to show off your old works. If you do put something together, I'd love to see it, so feel free to tag me, whether it be on Twitter or Instagram. My username is Hatterinsanity, all across the board. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope it inspired you. I hope you liked it, and I will see you in the next one.